This optimization problem, we're trying to find the minimum, minimum amount of material needed to make a 355 milliliter pop can. So we want to be able to find the minimum amount of material. So we're talking about surface area. So I need to come up with an equation for surface area. And since a pop can is a cylinder, I'm going to use a surface area of a cylinder, which is going to be two circles. So two pi r squared plus 2 pi r, which is the circumference of the circle, times the height, gives us the side surface area. So this is the equation I'm trying to minimize. Now the problem is I have one extra variable, so I need another relationship to be able to eliminate the variable. In this case, we want to get rid of the h and express it in terms of r. So I need a formula that's going to connect the radius and the height of a cylinder. And I'm going to do that to the volume, because the volume is a fixed volume. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So my volume, which is equal to 355 milliliters, is going to be pi r squared times h. And using this volume expression now, I can solve for h, and I can replace the h in the surface area equation, which I'm trying to minimize. So the height is going to be 355 over pi r squared. Okay, so there's my equation. So now I can rewrite the surface area as a function of the radius. So I end up with 2 pi r squared plus. Now when I plug in the h, well, I'm just going to write it in 2 pi r, and then the h becomes... 355 over pi r squared. Notice that the, there's a lot of terms that will cancel out there, so I should simplify this before I differentiate this. So my surface area as a function of radius is going to be 2 pi r squared plus 710, 2 times 355. The pi's cancel out, the r's cancel out, end up with divide by r. So now that I have the surface area equation in terms of the variable, the radius, I can differentiate this with respect to r. So I find the derivative, and I can set this derivative equal to 0. So I end up with 4 pi r. Okay, So that's going to be 4 pi r plus, and it's going to be minus actually, minus 710 over r squared. Using the power rule, use a power of negative 1, becomes power of negative 2, and the coefficient is negative. I want to make this equal to 0. When I make it equal to 0, I now have an equation. So when the derivative is equal to 0, I either get a min or a max. So once I've got the derivative equal to 0, I can solve this equation. So I end up with r cubed is equal to 710 over 4 pi. Okay, this simplifies to r is equal to the cube root of 710 over 4 pi. So that's going to be 355 over 2 pi. Okay, and as a decimal value, this is approximately equal to, I need to type this into my calculator. Okay, so I'm going to end up with 355 divided by 2 pi. Okay, and I'm going to take the cube root of that. And I end up with a radius of approximately 3.8 Three, seven, so I'm going to round that to 3, 4 centimeters. Okay. So then the minimum, minimum amount of material that's going to be needed, okay, or the minimum surface area, I'm going to use this surface area formula here. So the minimum surface area is going to be when r is equal to 3.84. Plugging that into my surface area equation, this one right here, Okay, so I'm just going to plug that into my calculator. I end up with 2 pi r 
plus 710 divided by R and I'm going to get 209.14 centimeters squared of surface area to make that pop can.